Morning, today I'm out in the field catching moles. The first thing I need to do is find out where to put my trap. Is that I'll put the trap in the ground so it lines up with each side of the burrow so the mole can freely uh, run through. Using this dibber, I'm going to put, uh, put it in the ground in between these two mole hills to see where the tunnel's running through. To see how far I need to dig down, I'll remove the dibber like this. And this is the distance um, of how far in the ground I need to dig. Down into the ground and I've located the mole's burrow. It runs through there and through there. This is where I'm going to put my trap. I will be using scissor traps. To set these, you squeeze the handle and insert the foot. So that I'll put the trap in the hole so it lines up with each side of the burrow. Then the mole can easily enter the trap. Good luck, I'm going to throw this worm in the hole. Top stones and mud obstructing my trap. I'm going to use large pieces of mud like this to seal the top of the hole. I've now sealed the trap in the burrow so there's no air coming from the surface to alert the mole. So yeah, I kind of messed up on this bit, so anyway, on to the next scene. I finished a day setting traps and on the way back to the farmhouse we've realised that one of the traps looks like it had been set off. Should we take a look? It looks like it's a big male. 